Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhavamik Joshi from Aspire MDS and in this video we will see how the latent image and the radiographic image is formed on the X-ray film. So if you see the structure of X-ray film, you can see presence of multiple silver halide granules present on the film. If you see the structure of a single grain, you will see presence of silver bromide arranged in a three-dimensional lattice configuration. Within this lattice, there is presence of positively charged silver ions. They are free. Okay, they are not attached anywhere. In addition to this, due to presence of sulfur and iodide irregularities, there is also presence of the sites that we call it as sensitive sites present on this single grain. Now, when this film is exposed to X-ray, as you can see, it said that this X-ray went and attacked or it acted upon this particular grain. This when it acts on the grain, it, this X-ray will go and act on the bromide and it will eject one electron out of this brom bromium molecule. This electron will move around the lattice and ultimately it will get trapped in the sensitive site. Now we know sensitive site previously which was neutral will now become negatively charged. And because it is negatively charged, it will attract the free positively charged silver ions that were present within the lattice. Now silver atom will reach the sensitive site and here it will become neutral. And here now we will call it as neutral metallic silver atom. This neutral metallic silver atom will create something we call it as latent image site. Okay, so this is the latent image site. Now this latent image site will be taking place in all of the grains that are present on the film because we know that X-ray are going to act on multiple grains. So all these multiple grains now have presence of the latent image site on them which together form the latent image. Now you put this film in developer. When you put the film within the developer, there is content of developer which is known as phenidon. This phenidon will donate the electron and this electron will go and act on this latent image sites and it will convert them into solid grains of silver. So this one as you see will be converted to solid grain of silver and after the film is out from developer and you see the structure of the film the grains that were exposed to x-rays now can be seen in the form of solid grains of metallic silver formed so as you can see here this ones let's say this were the ones which were exposed to x-rays so all the ones that were exposed to x-ray has now become solid grain of metallic silver after this is done what we'll do we'll put the film into fixer and once we put the film in the fixer the content of fixer that is ammonium thiosulfate will go and act on the crystals which were not acted upon by the x-rays and it will go act with them and when it acts with this silver uh, crystals it will lead to dissolution of this ones and it will form silver thiosulfate and this silver thiosulfate when you wash the film it will be drain out of the film surface. So after the fixing process is done and you wash the film, all of this silver thiosulfate will be washed out and the only structures that you will see on the x-ray film which will be left will be the one where the latent image formation had taken place. So this is the final image that we get on the radiograph. So this ones where this image is formed are the radiolucent appearing areas on the film whereas the ones that have got cleared out are the radio opaque areas so as you can see in the first in the radiolucent objects x-rays can pass through them and their maximum silver precipitation will be there in two some of the x-rays pass through them so there will be less silver precipitate and in number three none of the x-rays can pass through the radio opaque objects so the image will be without any kind of silver precipitate and it will appear radio opaque now let's see this with this example that this is the tooth structure which has enamel, dentin as well as the pulp. Now when you expose this film or when you expose this tooth to x-rays 
X-rays will pass through the enamel, they will pass through the dentin as well as they will pass through the pulp as well. And after passing through them, they will be recepted upon the image receptor that is our X-ray film. Now we know because enamel is, sorry, because the pulp is totally radiolucent that means it is allowing all the X-rays to pass through them. Dentin will allow some of the X-rays to pass through them and enamel will not allow any of the X-rays to pass through. Of course, there will be other X-rays which will not interact with the tooth itself and they will reach the film. Now, if we see the image that is formed on the radiograph, because enamel is not allowing any of the X-rays to pass through, the area of, or the image of the enamel formed will be of clear film. That is, it will appear as white or radio opaque. Because dentin is allowing selective transmission of the x-rays through the tooth to the x-ray film this will appear as thick radiolucent object so this is the thick radiolucent objects such as dentin which will form this image whereas the pulp which is not al which has allowed all the x-rays to pass through it will appear as radiolucent site because of formation of metallic silver precipitate on its surface Okay, so enamel appears as a radio opaque and the pulp appears as radiolucent whereas dentin is thick radiolucent subject. Okay, that's all from this video. Do subscribe to this video channel. All the best.